Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, I would like to do a warfare prayer to demolish every evil altar. Praise the Lord. Now, the scripture tells me, according to Judges 6, verse 25 to 27, now it came to pass the same night that the Lord said to him, Take your father's young bull, the second bull of seven years old, and tear down the altar of Baal that your father has, and cut down the wooden image that is beside it, and build an altar to the Lord your God on top of this rock in the proper arrangement and take the second bull and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the image which you shall cut down. Somebody say amen. See, we can see throughout this period of time that the Israelites were in seven years of bondage. That's right, because in the hard economic times, because of the Midianites' oppression, the people decided to worship Baal, but did not understand that they only made things worse by not turning to God. See, God called Gideon to get his own house in order first. He was ordered by God to first tear down the altar of Baal. So in ancient Israel, the people worshipped Baal. Why did they do it? Because he was thought to be the God of fertility, weather, rain, wind, lightning, seasons, war, and they relied on him for their agricultural prosperity but <laughs> there was the opposite they were oppressed they were in poverty you name it because they were away from God and there's no difference today see when we're talking about altars there's also evil family altars and they are set up by the enemy and they can hinder your family line they can hinder your generations so these evil family altars can also hinder our Christian walk when we come to Christ. Not only do we have altars that are set up for individual families, but also there are altars for the enemy that are set up to affect cities, to affect nations and so forth. So it does not matter where you are. The altar can still affect you, especially on your family line, if it's not pulled down, meaning if it's not renounced, if it's if that curse is not broken. So example, your family may have an evil altar within the home or even their compound in the rural area. And if you leave the house because you come to Christ, your family can still send reprisal attacks to you as you are learning to grow stronger in Warfare. Now, some of this may seem foreign to some people, but the truth is when you come to Christ, there is an instant spiritual conflict even with our loved ones. And when they realize that you're no longer reliant on them, meaning you now see Jehovah as your provider, you now see Jehovah as your healer, your deliverer and so forth, that family altar can no longer come and affect you. There will be kind of attacks at different times. Now, we're seeing these evil altars. They are spread out everywhere. They are in temples being built in places. They are in Freemason buildings being built in places. They are Freemason plaques and all these demonic things that are happening around the world where they set up these evil altars for witches and warlocks and so forth precious saints. See, witches can even build altars at various locations such as mountains, beaches and roads. And once again, as I said, these can be statues of Hindu Buddhism as we see in many countries and also straight out satanic Baphomet statues in your city or in your 
region and that is what we are coming against precious saints so because wherever there is worship of any kind there is an altar and there are people that are worshiping things that they do not even understand some of the music people listen to some of the music people sing they are worshiping to Baal they are worshiping to Satan so they can be found in many places even you can go around to supermarkets and buddhists can have a temple in there or you can go to different nations and they have all these different things going on in the supermarket you know for for everyone to stand still and for you to listen especially in hindu places and uh muslim places as well so these these altars are set up now people think they're there for protection and so forth but they don't do that and even straight up voodoo we see see precious saints as i've mentioned today the innocent blood of aborted babies is crying out for justice and the only antidote is God's mercy through repentance with genuine godly sorrow. See, for a nation that repents on behalf of an abomination that's done in particular with abortion and any other things that are done in that place, we see when a nation that repents shall be reborn out of the blood of Jesus Christ, changed by the power of the cross and exalted in righteousness. And there's no different with any individual see we got to see that these evil altars that have been dedicated either to a family line of witchcraft family line of any occult practices or we see specifically in places where where these where these altars have been set up to moloch which we see that is connected to abortion and also bail those things need to be destroyed and brought down. That's why in 2 Chronicles 7.14, if my people who called by my name would humble themselves and pray, then God would turn his judgment away from them. We can see that just as the judgment was upon the Israelites who had gone after other gods, had gone start to worship Baal. We can see that's what's happening in the nations today. There is a judgment that has come because people have gone away from God. But for God to come back, we as a people must stand in the gap to see change. And how much more when Elijah, when he came to have a spiritual contest, when he came to have the spiritual contest on Mount Carmel, and he he said to the people, how long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, follow him. But the people answered him not with a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone and left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 400 and 50 men. See, we as the people of God, we have been given the power to dismantle all these evil altars within our family line, within our cities, within our nations around us, we have the authority to bring that change, to ultimately God to raise up people to bring these particular things down as we're seeing in some places, even in government, when God raises up a born again believer. See, the Bible says, according to Ephesians 6 verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. See, pressure saints if we're not being attacked at times by these family altars we can be attacked even through those in the occult and see when we are being attacked by those trapped in their cult remember they are also not our enemy these are human beings with families and so forth but they are, many of them have been trapped and ensnared in things that they never knew existed and by the time that they learned it, it was too late some of these people don't even think there is a way of escape because of the death threats and so forth that happened and many of these people were even born into these families where they have been abused or subject to mind control even since early childhood so after each ritual that these people take place in there's less and less of the original soul of that person remains and more of more of the possession of the enemy that takes hold 
of these people. See, the, the demonic hierarchy is constantly recruiting new members and, and, and doing these sacrifices and so forth and is promising these people the world and all the lusts of the flesh and everything, wealth and power and you name it that we're seeing today. So many people have sold out because of the devil. But do not worry about the numbers. Just pray for whomever God puts in your path. See, a cultist never win. You should be encouraged to remember that those who practice the occult arts uh, to kill, to hurt, to influence, or even to control others can never be victorious because Jesus has already defeated the enemy. A cult power comes from the demonic world and is limited in strength. An individual practitioner derives power and influence from the number and rank of demonic spirits that they come into them by the way of casting spells, performing rituals, and direct, direct conjuring of demons. So it is clear to me that God gives His children complete victory over the enemy's attacks, even so far as changing the structure of space and time itself so that the enemy's devices will be brought to nothing. Precious saints, we serve a God of the impossible and He is working on your behalf and He is going to be victorious in every area of your life because the devil lives under your feet, precious saints, and you are an overcomer and you are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. See, all we have to do is put this world behind us, stand forward, have faith in our Lord and determination in ourselves. Always remember that by praying, we're going to see change. We're going to see change coming about and the results will echo throughout the kingdom of darkness because when you wake up, you are hell's worst nightmare and you send hemorrhaging to the realms of darkness, precious saints. Yes, God is with us and God is going to turn things around for us today. I want us to pray now. So get ready to receive these prayers precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you today in your son's name to please send your legions of angels to surround us, to outmatch, to outclass, to outnumber every demonic spirit that is operating around us and around our homes and our areas in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray these angels will encamp around each person today, set up angelic shields, protective devices. Yes, in penetrable force fields and angels to protect each person that is listening against every attack of the enemy in Jesus mighty name we pray. Lord we thank you today as we put on the full armor of God. Yes we put on our spiritual camouflage to make us invisible to the enemy. Oh Lord we ask for your help today. Lord as we put on the armor of light, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we break, crush, dissolve, destroy and smash every energy that might be draining any person right now or any attack of any source of the enemy today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus right now, we command everything that came into us from the enemy at any point in time that's connected to these family altars or altars that are happening or operating around us be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we break and destroy every soul tie, every hook or link or connection and attachment between ourselves and whatever or whoever is attacking us or is connecting us to an altar be destroyed today in the name name of Jesus Christ. We command everything that came into us from any of these soul ties, hooks, links, connections, attachments to leave now and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you are setting your people free today. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we break 
crush, dissolve and destroy every satanic attack, any druid witchcraft attack, any witchcraft or wicca witchcraft attack, or any Kabbalah witchcraft attack, or any wizard attack, or any shaman attack, or any witch doctor attack, or any witchcraft attack, or any vampire attack, or werewolf attack, or any Santeria attack, or any voodoo attack, or any magical attack, or sorcery attack, or luciferian attack, demonic attack, satanic attacks, psychic attacks, any telepathic attacks, Lord, anything that is coming against our mental health and mental attacks, we break it today also, removing every attack, Lord, any mind control be broken today, Lord, any psychic powers coming against us we break today any disease signal attacks be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ be broken be broken and any ones that we have not mentioned be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ every person place thing which a cult source psychic source machine satanist druid or witch or wicker witch or any Kabbalah witch or wizard or shaman or any of these things that are operating anybody that is using any remote reviewing operating systems any monitoring monitoring spirits any familiar spirits anyone that is using any of these demonic or even electronical devices to even view or to follow or to or to to come against us those that within government departments those in witches satanists messianic groups any new world order groups any shadow government groups any illuminati groups military groups intelligent groups and every Every group that we have not mentioned, Lord, may your listening and tracking devices be rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bind everything that came into us from these attacks. In the name of Jesus Christ, we close every door that was open to any of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We take away every legal hold and every legal ground that any of these demons or any of these connections have on each person that is listening. And we cut ourselves loose from all your assignments today, devil, in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, we command everything that came into us from any of these attacks to leave us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to send these things right now back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray that these agents would repent and come to you before it's too late in the name of Jesus Christ right now. Lord, we want to renounce every satanic altar that even comes to our mind right now that has been entrenched within our family or our lineage in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and remove ourselves and our family from the demands of every ungodly covenant that is associated with the altar and had empowered the devourer against our lives be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who paid our price at the cross of Calvary. We boldly break every link or contact that we have ever had with the demonic world through any evil altar, knowingly or unknowingly today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar carrying out instructions from our evil foundations to hinder us be set ablaze by the fire of the all-consuming God in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Lord that has given us the power to make and to create wealth. Therefore, we paralyze and destroy every evil altar today that is working or holding our prosperity away from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic power or spell working against our finances and our blessings be rendered powerless today in the name of Jesus Christ. For according to Deuteronomy 28, 12, it says, you have promised to open the floodgates of heaven in Jesus' mighty name. Any legal rights and curses placed upon our thoughts, 
any participation of any ritual, knowingly or unknowingly, Lord, that has been programmed into our spirit, our soul, our body by the occult altars, be destroyed and rendered powerless this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, we stand on your word and authority for you, Jesus Christ, today. And we command right now, through Jesus, we command the enemy to release all our blessings or virtues that have been blocked by the evil altars or in the enemy operating in this area in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blockage hindering our walk with the Lord be removed today and every mountain created by any evil altar be leveled today in Jesus mighty name. We pray for the fire of God to consume and to destroy all the people listening, every one of their family or ancestral altars and bring their effects within their life to an end today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you as we raise up an altar of praise and worship unto God, unto you today, as we sing a song of praise to you right now. May God strengthen each person's hands in battle and give them victory in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. We break every soul tie, hook, link, attachment, connection and device between themselves and any of the attacker or altars between them and themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we bind everything that came into them from soul ties, any connection to the family altar or the altar in the area that is coming and oppressing the people. Lord, we come against it today in the name of Jesus Christ. We close all doors that are open to the enemy and we take away every legal hold and every legal ground that the devil has had to attack us in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we break every curse, spell and psychic prayer that made any attacker try to attack us or any connection to any altar be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to send as many legions of angels as necessary to bind all the devils, Lord, that are operating around our areas today in the name of Jesus Christ, to give them anyone, any demonic powers that are giving these people in government positions, power, rank, prestige, wealth, any abilities or positions. Lord, we pray today and ask you to remove those demons and send them back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ because those people in those positions that have been planted there in Satan's seat must come down in the name of Jesus Christ. We break, crush and destroy all bonds of mind control and coercion that is happening today. That in, We pray and we cancel the power of the enemy that is coming against people today in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel and void all oaths contracts and agreements that any of the enemy has with people in positions of power that are around us or in our family lines be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to free the mind of attackers that are coming against them so that they may choose to repent and follow you in the name of Jesus Christ. We command all astral projection, ungodly silver cords, implants, ley lines, and spirit triggers to be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. We cancel all Satan's assignments against our family, both human and spiritual in the name of Jesus Christ. We close all gates and portals, even including the third eye that the enemy might be using and those that are using and operating in that today in the name of Jesus Christ. We seal and cover ourselves and our whole family with the precious blood of Jesus. We declare that we are now hidden in the secret place of the Most High, in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that we are invisible to the enemy and his attacks and hidden in Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that all our enemies are now removed from our presence in the name of Jesus Christ. We release the blinding light of God on all evil spiritual hosts that would ever try to come near us or our family in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that we are clothed in His glorious armour of light right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank You for this armour and this glorious light of Christ Jesus. Lord, we come against sickness. 
We come against depression. We come against distraction, discouragement oppression you must go now in the name of Jesus Christ we bind the prince of the power of the air and all his networks and destroy all of their strategies and assignments against ourselves against our family against our cities against our loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ we release the anointing of God over ourselves over our family and all our circumstances angels of God attack now all demons go back to the pit of hell never to return in the name of Jesus Christ we release the fruit of the Holy Spirit over each person as they grow in your word as they spend time with you oh Lord we break attacks over our spouses over our children over our families today over our loved ones today in the name of Jesus Christ each person listening bless them today and show them great and mighty things we thank you Lord for miracles in what you're doing in this hour we pull down every altar of Moloch every altar of Baal every demonic altar must be broken and destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ every demonic spirit operating against people those attacks will finish today in the name of Jesus Christ I break it today father in the name of Jesus we praise you and thank you for all the blessings you will pour out your spirit upon people right now you are setting them free from these attacks right now in the name of Jesus Christ fill them with your love and joy today in the name of Jesus we bind everything that is coming against your people from any attacks right now and we close every door that was opened for these attacks to come and we take away every legal hold and legal ground Lord that you would have on any person that the enemy has on any person and we cut those spirits those 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 connections those assignments loose now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus we command everything that may have come into any person will leave them today go back to the pit of hell and Lord we thank you that Lord repentance may be the key Lord I pray for repentance to come to the nations repentance to come to each person's family and their loved one right now in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I come against child trafficking I come against human trafficking. I come against organ trafficking. I come against drug trafficking. I come against right now abortion today. Let those clinics be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the altars of Moloch and Baal be destroyed today in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against all the lies and deception of the enemy. Let confusion come to the enemy's plans that he has against the nations in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I come against every infirmity and spirit of germs that have been released out to the nations, be destroyed in their plans, rendered powerless in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare today that Christ Jesus is seated on the throne right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare your goodness. We declare your mercy upon the nations in this hour. Come and touch your people. Come and fill them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch them and fill them in Jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen this is pastor robert clancy from narrow path ministries in perth western australia it is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our lord jesus christ shalom 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 and if you've listened to this today i encourage you to listen to it to more than once send it to someone that needs it today because we need to stand together in agreement to break every altar not only your evil family altars but also the evil altars that are operating all around us because jesus is still king and he has given us authority to come against everything whatever we bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we loosen on this earth shall be loosened in heaven also he's given us that authority precious saints he's given us the keys of the kingdom let us use it wisely and if you want to subscribe to the youtube channel you can do so follow us on rumble facebook or instagram go to our free website repentancerevival.com so from my family to yours God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.